Hi everyone, this is Matt from Tech Fanatic here. And basically, if you remember phones those days where we used to just use it to text and make calls, it has become very powerful computing machines just like this Note 8 I have here right in my hands. So today, we're going to unbox a device that will change the way we use our smartphones in the present as well as in the future. Meet Samsung DeX. Today we're going to actually look at the features of Samsung DeX as well as doing an unboxing. So let's get started. So as you can see in the front of the box, with the DeX Nation branding, Samsung logo, and on the back, basically the same thing and how it works, how to set it up. Um, so as you can see here, there are a few types of connections. You have two USB 2.0 ports, no USB 3.0, slightly here. Ethernet port, HDMI and USB Type-C to power up this deck station. Alright, so let's get right into the box contents. So upon opening the box, you're greeted with the deck station itself, which slides up like so to reveal the USB Type-C port right here. And on the back, you have the connectors which I mentioned before, USB 2.0. Ethernet, HDMI, and USB Type-C. Let's set that to the side. Next, you have a guide, quick start guide, as usual with all Samsung products. And that's about it in the box. So there are two versions of this actually. The one in US comes with a charging brake as well as a USB Type-C cable, but it doesn't exist here in the Malaysian unit. So now, we'll move on to the next part where we hook it up to my monitor and let's go through the setup together. Text is connected to the HDMI port as well as USB Type-C. So now we'll take our Note 8 and dock it into Dex. Let's see what happens there. Okay, something Dex shows up. And bam, we are in. So as you can see, I've already partially set up Dex, so it's actually a very pretty easy process where they tell you how to calibrate your screen and make sure the resolution is right. And um, basically, yeah, this is Dex, and uh, it has all your Android apps here. Everything that's on your phone can be accessed through here. Um, I'm here to try out the gaming and uh, stuff, but so far for my use, the past two days, I have actually done a couple of Microsoft Word documents here and uh, it has been a very good experience in fact and uh, I have not uh, encountered any lag so far uh, Spotify works good here As you can see, you can see some functions of this app it's not compatible with DeX but they still work good I have uh, Samsung DeX Labs on so that I can uh, push up apps to full screen just like this um, all these are copyrighted music, so I can't actually demo it to you, but I might... Let me see, I could find... Let's try NCS. Uh. Okay, let's see. NCS. And by default, the audio is rerouted to your phone speaker. So you all that you have to do is actually to open the quick settings, audio output, and select display device right here. You can see it switches out to my desktop speakers. And it works very well with multitasking as well. As you can see now, I'm going to try to lower the volume with my keyboard. And you can see I can mute it as well. Okay, let, let's keep this app open. And open a couple of apps. Like Word, Microsoft Word. As you can see, it opens with no hesitation at all, no lag. And now uh, you can just create a new document right here. It's really easy. It's like really like a desktop experience, in my opinion. Um, since I don't really play much games when I'm on the move, so I think this is a perfect solution to do just simple tasks like Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or even some light video editing, just like the app which I purchased yesterday which is power director by cyberlink yeah right here 
But you see the problem with, with apps like Power Director, they are not optimized for DEX. So what happens is that you have issues like not combat not it's not compatible with DEX. As you can see right now. See it opens in a small window, but you can't resize it at all. So the other way is for actually for you to open up game launcher and add this app as a game and put the full screen mode. So this is the only way you're going to open apps like this in full screen. So let me show you an example right now. As you can see now, it opens in full screen. But of course you can see the resolution, there's some degradation, but it doesn't really affect the, the performance, I would say. And um, basically this, this, this app works good. I've edited a couple of videos here and um, they've actually worked out pretty well. As you can see, this is, these are all the apps running in the background, Spotify, Word, and they open and perform really good. Um, I have basically no complaints with this dog. This, that, this dog actually has a fan right be, be, below, behind this that cools your phone if it's running uh, very heavy, heavy apps like games and stuff, or maybe video editing, or maybe even watching videos on Chrome, for example right here. You can see this is a full blown web browser which is actually the Google Chrome browser in your phone so overall the experience has been really positive and I can't recommend this enough this is a must-have accessory for productivity on the go and uh, it really enhances your experience on your mobile phone which is exclusive to the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8 so guys, this wraps up our video for today. I hope this video has helped you make your purchasing decision on whether or not to get the Samsung DeX. Um, it's still a first generation product as there are many hiccups and apps that don't work well with uh, Samsung DeX. But I'm sure there will be software updates in the future that would really enhance this experience. Um, so basically, this, is, this, this uh, device is more for people who don't do much gaming, they just do a casual web browsing, like listening to music, maybe watching some YouTube videos and doing a light, very light productivity work like Microsoft um, Office. Other than that, I guess this is maybe not for you if you're into really hardcore video editing and stuff because um, I don't think this will be able to cope up because it's a mobile processor. So thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. See you in the next video and peace out.